Viva la Vegan. That's what we're talking about today. Nona is San Diego's sustainable chef. Chef Jeremy Manley is back on Big Blend Radio's Eat, Drink, Be Merry show to be a Viva la Vegan. <laughs> He's joining <laughs> us to talk about how to make vegan meatloaf. Uh, so it's a vegan loaf because, you know. You can't say meat. No, but it's, it's a vegan. vegan loaf. And uh, it looks super delicious, actually. It looks, cool. like, it looks like meat. And it looks easy to make. It's something I could do. And quick and easy. And it oh. looks like you can do all kinds of things with it. We, we like that. Uh, Chef Jeremy is the owner of Jeremy's on the Hill California style bistro in Julian, San Diego's beautiful mountain destination. And you know, I know it's January now, but spring is going to rock up there. This is one of those years you're going to want to get up there. You want to get up there now too, because you might get some snow. Uh, so check out uh, Chef Jeremy's website. It's jeremysonthehill.com, and also you'll get his recipes there. And also see them up on blendradioandtv.com. And uh, his, this recipe will be in our spring issue of Big Blend Radio and TV magazine. So, Chef Jeremy, welcome to our Viva La Vegan show. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. There's no other place I'd rather be than on this radio show talking vegan meatloaf. I will vegan still say meat. <laughs> You're going to say meat because it's, meat can be anything because you have like the nut meat too and things like that, right? So meat is just like a word for whatever's kind of like the protein. So what, one of the things that's so cool about this Beyond Burger, and that, that's the base for this recipe, is mm -hmm. when you cook it and you sear it and then you put it in the oven, you pull it out, it has the color, the inside is the color of, of a medium rare beef burger. Okay. So it, it actually gives people like that feeling if, if they're at a table and everybody around them is eating a hamburger, you pull out one of these, everyone's like, oh, it looks just like a beef burger. Oh. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. You don't have to have a you know, drama of like, you're a vegan. Yeah, it's like, well, look at my burger. You know, it's it's red. It's big Back and off. beautiful. Check it out. Yeah. Check it out. So this, <laughs> Nancy's got the giggles now already, right? Um, but now Beyond Burgers, this is something that's been making headlines, you know, across the country, you've seen on Facebook. So this is like a new vegan burger that, and, and there's other, you know, veggie burgers. So if, even if your veggie burger may not be 100% vegan, um, there's veggie and vegan things out there. So it's really about the actual meat part that you're getting that's vegetarian or vegan. But Beyond Burger, uh, is this something you would eat? I mean, is this what, I haven't had one yet and I've been trying to I, find one. So I eat them, no joke, like four or five times a week. They wow. are, I've, over over the past year, I've actually cut down for two of my meals, I'll do vegetarian. Um, okay. Breakfast mm. and then usually lunch or dinner. And one of the things I love about those Beyond Burgers is it's, it's for the, the three ounce patties that, that they have, it's like 20 grams of protein. And oh, wow. it, it actually fills you up. It's not like, like hmm. if you get protein powder, like I get protein powder, I have a protein powder shake when I'm hungry. I'm going to be hungry in like 10 minutes. These things actually like make you feel good. And everything on the nutritional label you could pronounce, um, they're not paying me to say this, but you know, it, it's, oh. the, it, it's just, it's so freaking good and um i've always done a tempeh meatloaf at the restaurant and i wanted to switch it up and try something new and mm -hmm. one of the things i love about this recipe is how it's prepared is everything's already pre-made like th there's no cooking things in saute it's pans you get it's so easy and you make these vegan meatballs and uh you bake them off so you, you can make an elevated uh, a vegan meatloaf or you could smash them down and throw them on the barbecue and you could turn it into a hamburger. It's just, it's a bulletproof uh, recipe. Uh, it has a 10 day shelf life. You can throw the, throw it in the freezer, pull it out it defrosts in like 20, 30 wow. minutes. It is so user friendly for um, people who are on the go, people who yeah. have 12 or 14 hour days. Um, it just holds well. It, it, it's, it's, I, I'm I'm like scared. I'm almost scared that somebody's gonna say that like this bur this vegan burger causes cancer in like six months because it's so freaking good. Well, that's the thing that I'm talking about. It's like you know when you, whenever it's an easy recipe, you start to wonder, okay, what's on the label? Or you know if you're using another product, um, you know. So what I I think this is so cool because just about now anything that's fast, it's you you've got to really you've got to look. There's some something hidden there. And from what I've seen with the Beyond Burgers, I've watched, you know, there's, it's like, there's a lot of beet, there's, there's, it's, it's truly plant-based. And even, you know, for me, I can eat it and, and I'm allergic to some nuts, you know, 
um, some tree nuts, but that's going away for some reason. I think as your body cleans or something, it does its thing. I don't know. But you take, um, so you kind of get into like, this is the, the meatloaf and then you can do your thing with it. Um, whether you want it to be meatballs or put it on your salad, like you talk about that in the recipe. Um, and everyone, this is up on Blend Radio and TV.com right now. Just type in vegan meatloaf. It's the only vegan meatloaf recipe we have. It's unique. But you mix this with, um, you actually need all the ingredients together. Like when you would make really cool burgers. I know Nancy used to take burgers, mm -hmm. like the, the mints, and put in like oats and, and mustard and things. So it's kind of that same thing as when you're making a, a burger or meatloaf. But you put in quinoa, which is cool, cooked quinoa. And you can even buy it that way, organic, if you want. You know, I, I did the cooked quinoa because um, I do a bison meatloaf. And when we make the bison meatloaf, we have to add oats to it. So here I am thinking, I'm like, okay, I need something to thicken it so it'll hold together. So I was like, all right, instead of breadcrumbs, I want this to also be gluten-free. So I'm going to use quinoa and then oh, wow. ketchup helps emulsify it. So I was like, okay, we're going to use a nice, you know, we'll use the organic ketchup. And then uh, Dijon mustard is also an emulsifier for salad mm -hmm. dressing. So I'm like, all right, Dijon's awesome. Everybody loves ketchup. Those two are like love mm -hmm. and marriage. Put some quinoa in there so you get some more nutrient density in the burger we're about to eat. Um, I add pepper. I didn't add salt because there's some sodium already inside of the Beyond Burger. So there's mm -hmm. no reason to add more. And then just herbs. Like I love dried herbs. So I, I hit it with mm -hmm. oregano because I, I was trying to go mm -hmm. for like an Italian feel with this recipe. Yeah, ooh, cool. And then fresh thyme is my favorite. It's the most mm -hmm. aromatic, most beautiful smelling herb there is out there. And it's, I'm well, second most beautiful smelling herb there is out there. And you just, you just mix these together and <laughs> it's... Smell it. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> and, and you put it in the oven and, and you'll smell it cook. Like you'll, you, there's a very reminiscent smell. Like I used to eat Boca burgers because my, my, my family's hippies. Like I, my mom's vegan, my sister's vegan and you know, we've gone on and off the diet, but there's, mm. it's, it's just, you, you'll smell something baking. And then the reason in this recipe why I put all these different ways to, to apply it is, is uh, some people don't like that smell or that taste. You throw it on a, on a, on a char broiler or like on a barbecue in your backyard it, it takes on the smoky flavor and you don't taste that anymore. Then you mm -hmm. crumble it w w on a salad, whatever salad dressing you have, that flavor is going to be more predominant over it. it. It's just, like I said, I'm scared that this burger is going to somehow be bad for us in like six months because it is so freaking awesome. And you and, say that um, you put it with your eggs in the recipe, you scramble with your eggs. So it's kind of like a chorizo almost like I love chorizo and eggs. Yeah. Just, and it, it, it's, it's, if if you haven't tried one of these Beyond Burgers, it is so versatile. It's like uh, people would always talk about like tofu being able to take on different flavor profiles. Like uh -uh. I I would soak tofu in ponzu sauce, throw it in the oven, pull it out, and then uh, dehydrate. Well, dry it in the oven, and then you have ponzu flavor tofu. Like tofu takes on any flavor that uh, it comes mm -hmm. in contact with, and the, the, these 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 Beyond Burgers or any, really any veggie burger you want with this recipe, it, it kind of creates a an opinionated recipe and an opinionated flavor for that particular dish that we're talking about. But there's so many other things you can do to it. It's so light that it'll adapt to whatever cooking technique uh, ingredients you pair it with. It's cool, like, yummy. I, like I, I freaking love these. I no joke. I eat them like four times a week. Wow, we wow. need to go get them. That's yeah. just cool because I think I know some restaurants that are starting to serve them too. And I think this is something that um, this product, the more it gets, you know, more people are, you know, buying it, the the better price point it will be for everyone too. And it, you'll start well, to see it as a really good place for everybody. You know. So one of the one of the reasons I did this recipe is, is for exactly what you said. So many people, if not, it feels like everybody's starting to carry these. So what we did is we're using that Beyond Burger as the base, and then we're adding our, our Jeremy's on the Hill twist to it. So we add it with all these ingredients, mm -hmm. so it tastes different. So we call it an Impossible Burger at this point instead of a Beyond Burger because now we, we've changed the recipe, and um, we, we still give credit to the Beyond Burger people when people ask about it because uh, so many people are familiar with it. It's like mm -hmm. uh, it's a household name like Adidas or Nike or Apple yeah. or um, – mm -hmm. It's just, it, it's blend. great. There you go. Big blend, <laughs> big blend radio. Big blend beyond oh, burger. Yes. <laughs> um, it, it's, so, it's no joke. It's fantastic. And and when you're doing the meatloaf, I want to go back to that too, because 
um, you're mixing all these things together and you say you, you're going to make six and you're going to put the, the mixture into six ounce balls. And uh, how do you, how, do you, you're measuring the balls? Like once you measure one, then you know kind of the, roughly the size, right? Cause you, yeah, it, they don't have to be precise. Like the recipe says, it just says cook for 15 minutes. Everything yeah. in this recipe is already cooked. So all we're doing is marrying the flavors together by letting them heat up together. And yeah, the onions let their juices out. The thyme becomes aromatic throughout the meatball. The ketchup works its way through. Um, and everyone's like keep, happy, you know. Yeah, and it, it's, 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 it's nutrient dense. It's like but you're it buying doesn't, organic it doesn't, ketchup. You don't lose like the moistness, right? No, when not at it. all. And that, cool. that's one of the things that's so beautiful about there we go again. I swear they're not paying me, but the thing that's so beautiful about these Beyond Burgers is Jeremy's on the hill needs there. a discount Beyond Burger. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, they do cost. I mean, I think you know, mm-hmm. even for a restaurant, I think we pay about three dollars per patty. Yeah. So mm-hmm. there, there is cost associated with it, but uh, it's cheaper than a beef burger. Um, it's wow, well, this is great. Go. This is so cool. I, I just mean, love. Cheaper than a beef burger, people should be fine with that. Yeah, exactly, and that's my thing. It's like if you know, mm. fast food starts getting like this. Like we, we're in a better uh, journey, and I think no matter what's going on in the world, there's still these movements that are very strong, and people finding you know, being inventive and innovative, and coming up with solutions. You know, because it's not just about being hippie and hey, you know, I don't want to eat animals and and all that, which a lot of people are that way, and and, and I'm one of them. And it, it's, you know, there's the other side that this is a health benefit. I, the Reducitarian Organization, and we've had uh, Brian Cateman on the show and uh, both his books as well. We've covered them. What I love about that is it's a balance. It's like, hey, I, you know, I, I'm just not one of those people who can be a complete vegan or a complete vegetarian, but I can do exactly what you're saying, uh, Chef Jeremy, is I can cut back a couple of days and that really does affect the planet and it affects your health in a very positive way. And I think it's really about a health thing as well. And it's it, for us and the planet and for animals. And it's also uh, for some people, a spiritual thing. It's a, you know, religious, you know, belief if you're Hindu and, you know, there's different, um, you know, belief systems. Well, even, so, even our, our uh, heart doctor, Dr. Jackie mm-hmm. is, is like, you know, if you she said the less meat you eat, the better. The better. She's said go plant based. Yeah, Dr. Jackie always says that. Mm-hmm. Um, and and women, by the way, sixty percent of deaths of women in this country are from heart disease. Mm-hmm. And um, it is the biggest killer of women, and it's a silent killer, and people don't even realize when a woman is having a heart attack. We don't do like the Stanford and Son. I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? So so I know doctors are you know and the, the heart associations gotta love this, you know, Jeremy, with with this kind of thing, and everyone can have it. Do you do you think you could serve this to someone who is not vegetarian or vegan, and they would enjoy it? Yes and no. Um, okay. I got a couple people in the kitchen with me who are very old school. I mean, we're mm-hmm. talking like meat and potatoes people, and it, it's like I'm like, dude, you guys gotta try this. Like, I I I, I made a burger. Um, I was like, dude, just just try some of this and. One guy looks at me and just goes, oh, and like spits it out. But, you know, it's, it's. Hmm. If you don't tell them, if it, you like, just give them a burger, if you, they just came in and you said, here's our hamburger and you don't tell them. You would meat. be able to tell because it has a different okay. flavor profile and a different smell. I mean, that, that, that would almost be like, <laughs> um, that'd be like, like me giving somebody who orders an ice cream cone, like mashed potato cone. Okay. So yeah. okay. some people are like, they're cool with it because it's like they're adaptable or it's like, you know, doing something new and different is good. But I, I think part of that conversation is people just need to be comfortable with uh, adapting new. and changing. But what mm-hmm. I find is a lot of people need to do that on their own. You can't set saying awesome. like you can't yeah, leave a horse to water yeah. and make it drink. Yeah, um, don't be one of those like you need to be a vegan. If you're not a vegan, then you're this and that. That's that's what is kind of ruined the whole thing a lot of times. Yeah. I think it's important for people to understand there is alternatives. I do. I think and so because for a long time there it looked like it was really hard work and there wasn't and now there is and and they taste good so why not at least try? Yeah, and the other exactly. thing too is is the more movement like 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 this topic of Beyond Burgers gets behind and they hear something about it 
And then another product comes along that has a similar philosophy. Mm. They hear something about it. And another product comes along with a similar philosophy. That third time might be what it takes for them to go, okay, I'm going to open up a little bit and I'm going to try this. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's, again, it's like some people, it's like you can introduce something to and they're, they're on board with it. They're cool. They love it. Other people need to figure that out for themselves. Mm-hmm. So I think that's how it is with these guys in the kitchen. And, you know, it's like, I, like, I love vegetables. I love farm to table food. Mm. I love doing things that I believe in. And mm. depending on where their background is or what they, their walk of life is, it, it, it takes time to kind of break them into that. So it's, it, it's just a work in progress. It's like the, uh, it's my ulterior mm. motive to make people healthy is yeah, slowly, and- but surely is it- I'm also seeing that, you know, we talk about farm to table, boat to table, you know, you're on the coast and things. Um, but we're seeing, you know, through interviews over the last couple of years, a really big movement of, you know, farm to glass, <laughs> you know what I mean? So that it's really this, um, that the the world of not just juice and, and coffee and things like that, but uh, wine and beer, um, it's really becoming um, that what we eat you know, how we are so watching what we eat, is there chemicals and things like that, that it's happening in regards to what we drink as well. That's yeah, well, we are what we eat. Everything we put into our body is what, you know, we become mm-hmm. like, whether science or spiritual, it's like, there, you can't deny that. It's like, you are what you eat. Um, I'm you a eat tequila bottle. Pounds, there you go. <laughs> well, that or your liver is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, it, it, it's just, we are what we eat and we are what we mm-hmm. think. We are what we do. We are what our thoughts are. Um, it's just mm-hmm. part of, it's just part of mm-hmm. aging and part of creating and evolving and growing and learning. And sometimes growing and learning and evolving is negative, but you know, if, if we could do something as small as by offering somebody food that's healthy for them and that, that makes them feel good or that makes them feel light or, you know, it makes them, instead of go sit on the couch and watch TV, it makes them, you know, want to go for a walk or go out and do something with their partner. There's just, there, there's so many things that eating good contributes to in everybody's life. Yeah. And, mental and a lot of them are unspoken. Yeah. yeah. M- mental, you're, you know, all these toxin stuff, it, it, it really um, messes with your mind, you know, with your actual thought process. Chemicals, you know, it's not just, um, you know, oh, did we put on weight or, um, am I going to get sick from toxins? Um, and it also affects um, how you think. Do you have mental clarity? Um, can you breathe? <laughs> you know, there's all these different things. And, you know, when you look at um, the wrong things being in your body can also affect your hormones and, and your emotional health. I also, so it, I also think that it changes your taste buds, how you eat. Like mm-hmm. you, when you first try something new, it might not be your most favorite thing, but give it a chance because I do think you fall into like this kind of habit of this is what my mouth wants. Mm. And, and you just always ordered the same thing over and over and over and you don't, you don't ever try anything new. I don't Imag- know if that's, you know, fear or what. Imagine if we all judged alcohol by how our first sip was. Oh, we wouldn't drink at all. See, there you Somehow go. Somehow we we pushed on. <laughs> we we persevered. What's the we same thing as coffee? Right? As a kid, you don't like coffee. No, but we pushed on. <laughs> yeah. we, we we took one for the team. We listened to those around us, and we made great decisions. We mm-hmm. we took our first sip, and it was not our last. Cheers yeah. to that. Speaking of that, what would you drink with? If you're going to make this into a burger, what would you drink it like? Drink with it? Since you know, it's a different really, flavor. I would. I would go for just iced tea. You know, I, I think, you know, iced tea is light enough. And, mm. you know, again, mental clarity versus soda. I'm, I'm anti-soda, even with yeah. my cocktails. Um, yeah, just, that ruins cocktails. It gives you like a, it, you, if you want to double your sugar, just have another cocktail <laughs> without this. There you flavor, go. You know, yeah. yeah. Okay, so an iced tea. Iced tea's good. Yeah, I just keep it. If I, if I was, you know, again, converting this, if I was going to go something a little more elegant, I'd probably do uh, Arnold Palmer. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> you know, even like like a light beer, like a Hefeweizen or just, a, you know, a mm-hmm. good blonde ale. Um, it's something light, you know. And yeah, you know, Jeremy the likes a good blonde. <laughs> I, I love good blondes. <laughs> and, you know, but you know the other thing too is it's like if, if you're if you're somebody who's trying to watch what they eat but you say you eat a lot you drink a lot 
eat one of these burgers every couple of days. So that, that way, when you have that beer that you're indulging in, you're like, you know what? I mm-hmm. ate healthy. I'm trying to censor my words. Um, I yeah. ate healthy, <laughs> so I'm going to drink this beer. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, and it's better to eat when you drink too, because you slow down the process and it helps your liver um, in, yeah. in how it processes sugars. I've been what, yeah. reading up on what happens to our livers. Uh-uh. Shanene. <laughs> like, I know, you know, how they have those, like, uh, when you go to the doctor and they have those charts on the wall and you see all your organs in there. And then that's one why I don't day go to you the walk doctor. in and you look at, and the liver's turned into a tequila bottle in the drawing. <laughs> <laughs> your kidneys turned into a bean. Yeah, I mean, no, you know, there could be, you know. All don't sorts start of, me on that because I when I go I through the other organs, it could be dangerous. I, I could just really do a whole chart. Yeah, don't, your- <laughs> don't, 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 don't. We're, we're very clean on this show. <laughs> so there it is. Well, Chef Jeremy, always good chatting with you and learning more. It's always so cool. And I'm so glad we talked about this. And uh, I'm, you know, as we travel and get on the road, you know, we're getting on our Love Your Park tour and uh, we're going to be on the road. I'm going to be looking for Beyond Burgers on menus because yeah. I think that's going to help us because that's the thing that when we first went out, like it, you know, we need more Jeremy's on the hill as we travel. <laughs> because then you get good food and you know it's healthy and good for your body so um you know kudos to you what you're doing at your restaurant because um you're you're informing people it's an educational and delicious experience and that's important um that people understand that healthy food can be and is delicious if you do it right and more restaurants need to be like that so cheers to you dude thank you you too ladies Hey, listen, you take care, everybody. Again, go to jeremysonthehill.com and sign up for their newsletter because uh, you'll be in the drawing for their $25 gift certificate every month. And also, uh, when you go to the website, there's recipes there. There's videos. Of course, we feature Chef Jeremy's recipes also in Big Blend Radio and TV magazine. You can see them all also on blendradioandtv.com. Thanks so much. You take care and behave yourself. Yeah, right. Thanks. You too, Lisa. You too, Nancy. I'll try. I'll, I'll try to behave myself. The I sun's know still you up. Will. Ha, ha, ha.